of the biggest celebrations in Legends history has just ended. It had its highs and its lows, but today we're going to be taking a deep dive into the Dragon Ball Legends 6th anniversary. The part 1 reveals and stuff will probably go down as one of the best reveals and stuff of all time. For Goku and Vegeta, that fuse mid-fight into Vegito is more than enough to start an anniversary, but Toshi just had a better idea. Yes, yes, you did that! LF Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta that fused into Gogeta Blue dropped alongside LF Super Vegito and it made the greatest part one to a legend celebration I think we'll ever get. These units are cool, yes, but it doesn't matter if they're absolutely cheeks, which isn't the case for these two. They are both here to stay for at least the next couple of months. Starting with Super Vegito's unique ability. It's absolutely horrible to play against, but you know, if you're using it, it's, it's a load of fun. Like a lot of things in Legends. As you might know, I'm not a big fan of the Rising Rush mechanic in Legends. With it being able to change the game like that and it being very luck based i just don't think it's very good but at least when you get hit with a rising rush with this vegeto you know you're dead so it's not really that big of a deal and vice versa you're not worried about getting your your rush guest you know that's it's literally the worst feeling ever moving over to gogeta you might call me a little bit biased because you might know that i'm quite a little bit of a gogeta fanboy but i do think that this is the the better unique ability out of the two his assault chain is disgusting like the damage it can rack up is really really good especially in in the current meta with super saiyan 4 gogeta running around obviously his gauge doesn't fill up when uh, this gogeta is using his assault chain combining that with uh, this gogeta blue having type advantage against this gogeta uh, super saiyan 4 gogeta it's it's, it's like heaven <laughs> So how would I rate part 1 out of 10? I think it's only justified that I give it a 10 out of 10. To me, it's honestly one of the best part 1s we've ever had. And with the surprise of a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta coming alongside Super Vegito, it, it, well, it blew my mind and I think it blew everybody else's mind because nobody expected that at all. Moving over to part 2, I think we all know what I'm about to say. Why on God's green earth did we get an LF Ultimate Gohan? It was so random and there was no hype behind it at all. Don't get me wrong, Ultimate Gohan's cool, but for, for a part 2 headliner, it's eh. Especially after months of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan absolutely obliterating everyone's <laughs> There was one shining light at the end of the tunnel, LF Super Saiyan God Goku. But it doesn't matter because he's as useful as a paper mache submarine. Like, he's absolutely crap. There is no passion, there is no vision, there is no aggression, there is no fucking mindset. To be honest, I'm not going to talk much about part two because I, th I think we all share the same feeling that part two was quite disappointing. They did drop a very cool Beerus unit that I still use from time to time. Well, that's men because it's Beerus and I quite like Beerus, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to mess around. Part 2 was an absolute stinker. 3 out of 10. With the combination of another overpowered Gohan unit that nobody wanted and a unit that everybody did want but they made really crap in Super Saiyan Go Goku. I think I'm being kind giving it a 3 out of 10. But you know, seeing Part 1 was so good. We, we can forgive a NAF Part 2. But we can't accept it's a NAF Part 3 though. And well, I can confirm it was an absolute banger. <laughs> To cap off the 6th anniversary, we've got the highly anticipated Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's such a toxic unit that it's, it's, it's hilarious. The amount of times I'm in a 1v1 and it's my Gogeta versus his Gogeta. And it's just a battle of who, whose gauge runs out first. It's so funny. It is annoying when I lose, but it's, it's just funny nonetheless. This unit is nothing short of goated. His animations are unreal. His damage is unreal. His kit's unreal. Everything about this unit is just god tier. It's amazing. And I mean, it's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. What, what did you expect? <laughs> GT is now one of the most dominant teams in the game with obviously Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, LF Super Baby 2, LF Spirit Bomb Goku, and the new LF Omega Shenron. By the way, go watch my summon video for him after this video. Cheers. All these units absolutely cook in PvP, and I'm just happy to see GT a usable team again after so, so many years. The team I'm using right now is just so fun. It's Gogeta, uh, Omega Shenron, and then uh, Super 17. It's just a fun team to use. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how would I rate part 3? 9.5 out of 10. Yes, it's not a 10 out of 10, but for one reason, you're probably going to call me petty, but I, I don't care. This they, It really annoyed me. I deducted half a point because the part 3 reveals and stuff it was one of the worst reveals and stuff I've ever seen. They announced Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta right at the start of the reveals and stuff. No excitement, no build-up, no hype, nothing. Just bang, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Mm. And for someone who really likes making the reaction videos to the re reveals and stuff, this one kind of fell flat for me personally. Part 1 was amazing, Part 2 was meh, and Part 3 was nearly perfect. So what are my final thoughts on the anniversary as a whole? Like I said in the intro, the anniversary had ups and downs, but personally, overall, I really enjoyed it. 8.5 out of 10. But yeah, guys, give me your opinions on the 6th anniversary down in the comments below. And while you're doing that, click this video to watch another one of my videos.